Welcome everybody to episode 23. I am your host, Marcus. And in this episode, we are talking about stop trying to feel complete. Have you ever really looked at something and you wanted validation? You wanted to feel completed. Like, have you ever thought perhaps one day when I reach this particular goal and I obtain whatever that thing is that I'll feel complete? I'll feel okay with myself. Now, I've been thinking about this over over a while. It's actually funny because of the fact that uh, my sister and I actually brought this up in our last conversation, or she brought it up asking me, would you ever get to a point in your life where you would feel complete? And it was a really interesting question because I, I work extremely hard on a lot of different things and to try to picture myself down, right? Like what is that feeling of completeness? And when I start thinking about this, is it that you get that aha moment? You're like, okay, well now I can relax. And in my mind, I don't ever think I could get to that point where like, okay, I can relax. To me, it's a shift in focus. Right now, I have uh, specific goals I want to obtain. So I think you have to have that that focus and that drive for that one particular thing. But that's not saying that uh, you'll never not feel completed. And this will will dive more into what I really feel uh, being complete is. Because I think uh, we get this misconception that feeling complete, like once I obtain this, I'm complete and I can just relax. Again, when I think about being complete, I think about being, you know, whole, essentially uh, changing your environment into one in which you are growing and fostering and realizing that you feel complete in this environment and not when you obtain that thing, because you're always going to uh, be striving and trying to uh, make yourself a better improve yourself optimize yourself and i think that is continuous growth right and something that i think is extremely important is to understand that we need change and when you look at uh, relationships personal or um professional you have to understand that you know change uh, is required right like you need that dynamic of change that element of change in your in your relationships in your in your life because if it doesn't exist you realize that life is very plain yes i do agree that routine is extremely important you do need to have routine when it comes to uh dieting and getting control of your health right that, that needs to be regimented because uh, you have to know what is coming in your body and, and how you essentially you process all, all the, in, the inputs. You have to also realize that the mind and everything else is the same way. Like certain, sp- certain specific things need to be regimented. Finances need to be regimented uh, because that allows you, right? Simple systems help you achieve the things that you want, but then understand that the element of, of change, of um, the element of uh, randomness needs to come into your life and that you know just going out and 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 taking a walk like you normally wouldn't do or going in and trying something new perhaps that's a new sport or perhaps it's it's reading a new book or just traveling a different route there are a lot of different ways you can approach this but understand that you need that element of of randomness in your life that you can just pick up and go because if it doesn't exist uh, us as, as human beings, right? Like we seek the change and if the change doesn't come, you know, we will change it uh, automatically. We will seek it because this is in our nature. We don't like things to be always something that we we can for, foresee or foretell, right? We want that, that, that change in our lives. And even for myself, you know, I've, I've changed and I've lived different places every couple of years. So for me, it's hard. And when I sit in one place for so many, for so long, it seems like I'm missing something. I need change here. Something needs to change. 
But when thinking about it and looking across, you know, social media and everything, there you can see this across the the broad spectrum. Is a lot of people they want the change. You know, things get boring and mundane, and we seek change, but we don't know how to seek it. And sometimes we seek change in the wrong ways. And I think it's important to to understand that uh, this is where it's important to follow your curiosity and take action on those things that interest and pique your interest and trying to introduce uh, more positive things into your life as opposed to uh, seeking things for validation or feeling a void in your life. And a lot of times we it's easier to seek those, those quick fixes that make things worse than they actually are. Right. I'm not really one. I'm not a person to come on here and judge. I'm not that way at all. I am just I am myself. Right. I've I've been the one that to seek um, other different things in my life to help patch voids, voids that I've had in my life. And and so I come on here and I share that and, and realize that, you know, I'm not perfect either. I still make mistakes. I still do these things. Right. I even though I talk about, you know, finding the positive in things I Every action I take, I try to make, you know, five or 10 uh, more positive actions as opposed to a negative. That's not saying that negative will never go away, right? It's like saying, okay, well, I'm going to eat uh, 100% plant-based and then no processed junk. And then, you know, I might have that, that, that processed food and understand that it, that's something that's going to happen. And it's just, again, winning uh, the, the war it means you're going to lose some battles. You are going to win, hopefully, the majority of the battles and understand that this is the way it's going to be. And when you're talking about uh, trying to be complete, will I ever get to a stage? Will you ever get to a stage where you are happy? And I don't think you will because you need that change in your life. But with that being said, you can adapt it. And, and when I talk about the different things that I talk about, about um, – you know, meditation and breathing and stuff like that, putting yourself in the moment, right? And realizing that you are, to be complete is like uh, creating this ecosystem that you are constantly like trying to stay in and maintain. And when you're in this ecosystem of, of being present, of being in flow, which flow is, you know, a couple stages to get into flow with, with being in focus, which requires you to be in the present moment, uh, requiring you to get enough sleep, right? There's a lot of other different things that come into play here, but understand that this is where you feel complete. It's having this environment and, is, and trying to keep yourself in this environment as long as possible, right? Nothing is 100% sustainable. And as much as I would like to come on here and tell you, you know, it, I wish it was so easy just to flip a switch and that was it. You know, once you achieve that, that was it. But you find that life is not that way. Things are, again, in constant change. And again, whether you like it or not, whether you want to believe it or not. So a lot of times we wish things would just are in a specific way and they will eventually get better. But if we don't make change, the things that we want in life, they, they won't come to fruition. I, I myself, you know, you know, I, I practice what I preach because a lot of times I was in the same boat in which I was hopeful. I was I wished so much. And I, I can recall a, a specific time in my life uh, when I was I remember I had just come back from Australia and I didn't really have a place to stay. So I asked my aunt and I stayed with my aunt. I was living in California at the time and I started working for a security company. Now, the security work, right? It's, it's not, it's not the greatest job. I'm not downing anybody that does the work, but for me, it, it was, it paid, it paid well for what it was, but understanding that it wasn't the job for me and understanding that even though I was doing that job, I dreaded, I dreaded it. I would have to walk miles because I couldn't afford a car at the time. I don't, I, I don't even remember how many miles I had to walk just to get to um, get to work, to be able to get a truck and then drive another 20, 30 minutes down the road uh, to where I had to actually 
uh, do my job, turn around, you know, write a report to drive all the way back, then walk all the way back home and sleep for a couple hours, eat, and then turn around and do it again and again and again. And hopefully uh, someone, you know, couldn't make a shift. And then I would try to get on that shift and work, right? And at that point in my life, I, I was fed up with a lot of different things. And I, I wanted things to be better and, and realize that, uh, you know, I had at this point, I had dropped out of college. I was in college full time. Uh, I was also work, working, try to work full time as well. And so I was just doing too much at one time and I had to take a step back. And when I took that step back, I took a big step back and realized that that's where it put me was in that job and, and realizing that I couldn't ever feel complete this way and realizing that there was a lot of different things that I just wasn't aware about and understand that your particular situation might be the same way. You just don't have the know-how of where you need to get. And when I talk about being complete, it's essentially uh, an ecosystem in which you feel alive in, an ecosystem in which uh, you are constantly changing. You're okay with fear. You're okay with uncertainty. You're okay with following your curiosity and really seeing where it takes you and realizing that the power that it holds and where it can take you, as opposed to just hoping I remember sitting in that in that truck and there was a couple of night shifts I had and I remember sitting in that truck just thinking you know I just want things to get better like how much worse can they get right like I was bare I was barely scraping but I don't even know how I got by to be honest but I was barely getting by and I knew I didn't know how long it would be able to last I knew it wasn't going to definitely be a forever thing because I was barely staying afloat at that point, you know, I started looking at some uh, pretty ridiculous jobs uh, that I didn't think I would ever like be telling myself, right? And at that point, I I just wanted and I wished, and I remember sitting there in that truck at night, in the middle of the night, you know, watching over the over some. Uh, I don't remember what the complex was, but I would have to drive around the complex like every hour. I just checked to make sure there was nothing uh, done with the strip mall. And I, 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 it was one of the lowest puts of my life. And uh, shortly after that is when I, I relayed into the other story about when I, I was fed up there and I moved to my father's. And then I ended up working at a truck factory installation, which was absolutely horrible. And again, I kept wishing and hoping. And then for some reason, it just clicked that wishing and hoping isn't going to get me what I want. Wishing and hoping is is only going to uh, make essentially it, you you put that daydream right. When I mean, you talk about things like uh, manifestation, right, and the law of attraction, and you try to manifest these things, uh, the biggest piece that is missing there is the fact that you have to take action. You can't. You can plan some things, but nothing is going to work out. You can plan for decades on end. And the first step that you plan can automatically fail. And probably about 95 to 99% of the time, it does fail in that first step. And that that hoping and wishing, it just didn't work for me. And it doesn't work for anybody. I don't see where hoping and wishing ever helped anybody. Yes, some people get lucky, but the odds of that are extremely rare. To make the changes, you have to be willing to, to go out with uncertainty and the fear and, and just do it. And for me, it was, it was such a struggle and I was so fed up. And I, I, I kept asking myself, why is this happening to me? And then you start feeling guilty for yourself. Like, I'm a good person. Well, why can't I achieve this thing? Why don't I deserve this thing? And realizing that I had to take action. I had no leverage. I had nothing. I was barely getting by. And so again, I went in the military to, to get leverage to where I could actually make something of my life and, and get tools and assets that I can you know, go to college for free and I could get a skill set and I could travel the world and I can do all these things at one time, right? The things that I, I wanted to do, but I, I, there was no way I could do it if I didn't join the military. 
there was no way. You know, I thought about being a car salesman. I thought about being in all different kinds of different sales. I would have never thought. And it was just, it was frustrating and hope. And every day I would wake up in that security job and I was like, man, just let me get a random call for, to do something that is just different. That would, that would get me ahead. And that call never came. Right. That luck never came. I had to create my own luck by putting myself in the right position, having some know-how of where to look, and then going and being okay with that. And then I've evolved to the point to where, you know, I realized that being complete is finding the state. Because I talk about how, you know, happiness is a state of mind. And that even right now, even though you may be down in the dumps, you could just find out, found out, or you could just find out that you've made ten million dollars. Now, nowadays standards, that's not a lot, but ten million dollars, right? You talk about ten million dollars, and that can change your mindset right there, right then and there, when you find out that things are different now. And that is essentially what being complete is and not looking for validation and having the confidence in yourself because I know we always lack a lot of people lack confidence and even myself you know my confidence is, is strong but it's it's taking me a long time to build it up to this point and there are still days when I, I feel weak still days when I have to reassure myself but I don't look for validation through other people or groups or anything like that I have to prove to myself because I realize that's that's where it is, right? That's where it's where the gas is for the motivation and everything is knowing where to look inside yourself. And a lot of times, if you find that you are looking for validation to feel complete, then you are looking in the wrong place because nothing external of you is is going to feel a void because you don't want to look at yourself and it took me a long time to realize this and a long time to to face uh my demons and face who i was and what i didn't like right because i always battled with that a chubby kid that always got picked on and bullied and fought almost every day as a young kid right it took me a long time to shake that even still i that that, that kid is still inside me right and trying to prove to him that you are more than capable of doing these things that you are deservant of these things and a lot of times you achieve things and you look at them at least in my mind you look at them and you say well you know that's great i'm glad i made this thing and you know to a lot of people that's that's a big deal but to me it's like you know i'm still trying to prove to that young kid you know you're still worthy you still you have something there to prove do it and so I feel like being complete is, is not looking for validation, but having the belief in yourself. And I, I've proven to myself and I feel complete when I put myself in this ecosystem that I've, I've developed that I, I find pockets of motivation. And I realize that, you know, I, I'm not fixed, right? No test or nothing defines who I am. I don't put myself in a box. And that's one of the biggest problems too, is putting yourself in the box because the uh, puts limitations on who you are and, and where you're trying to go. And then you feel more of like, as you feel like you can't achieve the things because you've never done it. Right. And this is like when you research stuff, right? Like if we don't have a, a point of reference, we can't see ourselves doing it. And this is why I think reading and and obtaining knowledge is so important because you get a perspective. So that kind of gives you like an idea of like, okay, well, I have something to relate to, right? It's not going to be exact because no plan or anything is exact, but I have something to relate to perspective. I can relate to that will help me achieve this thing. And that's essentially how we learn, right? Is that we have uh, past events in our lives that help us uh, try to tackle new problems and come up with new solutions. Uh, but when you realize when you read something, you get kind of like a basic framework that is essentially like an old experience that you had that you can essentially uh, apply to whatever the new problem is to uh, help you solve your unique 
problem uh, with a unique solution. And understand that's how so problem solving is, right? Life is about uh, the different problems that you solve and get through it and realize that you will fail and that's okay. And when you're developing this ecosystem of being, you know, um, feeling complete, you need these tools, you need these tool sets, you need that confidence. And to build confidence, you have to be able to have something that you've built, right? You have to continue to build something. You have to continue to grow. You have to continue to introduce change into your life. And, and going back to that dynamic that you have to have that, right? If everything is the same, right, you'll never feel complete. You'll never have that, that flow state, that focus and, and realize that you're constantly growing. But if you can maintain this and it's, again, it does seem like it's exhausting, but it is not because of the fact that, you know, you get to a point where this is comfortable for you, right? Because you feel like you're complete when you're, when you're in the space, but it takes maintaining to stay in the space. But when you get there, you, you realize it and you feel it. I'm complete here but I know it's going to take effort on my behalf to stay here because it's almost like uh, anything that you do, right? I've talked about this before about how, you know, when you're trying to gain muscle or perhaps you start meditation and you do it for a while and you realize, well, this doesn't really do anything, but then you take some time off and you realize, man, I just don't quite feel the same. And you notice the difference. And when you feel uh, that you are, in the, in the state of, of being complete, you, you feel that, that, that ecosystem that I don't need anybody else's validation. I know where to look for myself. I'm confident in myself that I'll find the answer as long as I maintain this space and whatever it takes, right? Like it takes a lot of different elements to maintain, maintain this, this state of completeness. And I'm okay, right? Like, are you at a point in your life that you'd be okay that if for some reason you pass today, you'd be okay where you left off? Is that how you feel today? For me, I, I could say I, I'm happy with where I left off because I've seen the impact I've made on people's lives. It's not saying that is I, I want to make more of an impact on more people's lives, but I've seen just the people that I've, I've been around that I've seen the impact I've made. And I, I make these videos to continue in the videos and podcasts to continue to impact more lives, to help drive your where you want to go and realize that's where your destination in is not the same as mine. But there's there's basic tools, there's basic elements, there's basic framework that that I can share with you that will help you get to where you are trying to go faster. And keep you aligned with those things and realize that we are human. We will make mistakes, but that's okay. And it's always shaky, but you will get there. You will get to a point where you develop this ecosystem. You have this confidence. You have these resources and you know how to get there. And you're okay if it's stripped all the way tomorrow because you know exactly where to start. And a lot of problems, a lot of time is a lot of people don't know where to start or haven't even started because of that. So feeling complete, you know, if you feel like you're looking for validation, if you feel like you need somebody to tell you that you're on the right track, yes, we all want validation. Even for me, sometimes, you know, sometimes I need validation from other people in, you know, someone could tell me, you know, you are, you're doing great and you're doing all, and all these things, but I, I still have to look at myself and say, hey, you know what? I have to believe in myself. I have to always have a belief in myself for me to feel complete. And this, again, involves you dealing with whatever it is internally, addressing things externally, whether it's your environment, whether it's your relationships, and removing them. You have to be willing to want that feeling of completeness, but you have to know to look where to look in the right places. Because a lot of times we seek uh, fast fixes that will never fix us. They will never fix us. It's internal. It's an internal thing we have to fix. But again, you also have to remember that the environment you are in is extremely important. 
the environment that you're in, if it is in toxic environments, you will not be able to grow and you will never feel complete until you remove yourself from that environment and put yourself in an environment that allows you to build and foster and realize that this is an environment of that you can build into this, this ecosystem of feeling complete and realizing being complete is, is an internal thing. And that all the things I talk about are, are building that system out. The simple systems that keep you complete in maintaining that and how to maintain that. And realize that once you're actually there, once you're actually doing these things, that your life becomes a lot better in my mind. Life has been a lot better in my mind and being in control of that and realizing that, yes, sometimes you may stray off. It's not saying it's uh, perfect as, as in the sense that, again, you can flip a switch and it's just on. You have to maintain it. You Sometimes, again, you go astray. You have to pull yourself back in. That's knowing your resources, knowing how to how to pull yourself back in and, and realizing and auditing yourself that you're reaching out there. You, you need to pull yourself back in. Okay, I'm getting a little too far. Pull yourself back in. That's what it is. That's how you maintain all these different things that you want in your life. And not just saying, I, well, I gave it time. It didn't work. And then just throwing it away. You've put forth a lot of unseen progress that you are not seeing, believing yourself, trusting yourself, having that confidence yourself takes time and building that out. But again, you have to have the environment that's going to allow you to build. That environment does not support you building. You know, you're building, you're trying to build infrastructure on sand and you will sink. The base of your infrastructure has to be solid. Make the changes that you need to today to improve your life and feel the completeness tomorrow.